Well, hello guys and welcome once again to a new video. Uh, in today's video, I want to address a lot of questions that you guys have asked me in the past period in the comment section below. So, and uh, this is mainly the idea of this video, to disassemble this unit and show you where are the main leaking points of uh, this uh, Nespresso units because they are basically the same, and how to address each type. So in case you have a leak from here, for example, what you have to do. In case you have a leak from here, what you have to do. So stay along with me on this, uh, on this video. Hopefully this uh, will help you repair your unit and save the planet and not fill the, the landfills with this uh, type of units. Okay, so let's start disassemble and let's go on with the explanations. All right, so basically we want to split the unit on two sides. So the uh, front side and then the um, end side, let's call it like that. In the front side, uh, you will have hot water because the water will come from the water tank through the heating element and comes outside hot. On the uh, end side, let's call it like that, you will head, have uh, cold water because the cold water will have to reach going through the pump and all the elements will have to reach the heating element. So you can decide already or you can make an idea already from where the leaking is coming from. Either if you have a cold water leakage, then it's clear it's from this side of the unit. If you have a hot water leakage, then it's clear it's from this side of the unit. So let's first start uh, disassembling this uh, this unit and i will show you each uh, each point where you can have leakage okay so we have to remove these screws here these are some uh i think the d16 torques Or T10 torques. It's one on either each side. We can remove the handle. Then this unit you can tell it's it was open before because it's basically easy for me to open or not. We need a pry tool here. Uh, let's see. that pry tool there are some clips over here in this area you can also use a flat head but I encourage you uh, to use a plastic pry tool not to damage the plastic so here and here. Like this. Okay. And then this part, 
has to be removed. I covered this uh, this uh, disassemble part also in other videos. You can watch them. So this gets out like this, and we already have the first the first area of leakage. So in case you have uh, cold water and it's from this side so you can identify it from this side maybe you have a problem with this o-ring here or gasket or however you want to call it basically this is the the gasket that goes around this water tank nozzle but with uh, time this also gets uh, gets a little bit loose and you will have leakage so this I must say it's the easiest part to change okay let's go a little bit further we will have to remove the cable of course be careful remove the the mains don't work with live uh, live connections please don't do it okay and the ground and we remove the cable good then you can remove this part as I said for me it's easy because I already have removed uh, I opened up this uh, this unit before so it's easier for me to open first time you do this of course it will be harder good so as I said back side front side here is the water tank uh, gasket or intake this can be loose you can have a lot of water due to this gasket if you change it then no more problems you can have leakage also from the pump so but uh, let's remove completely the the entire internals I think it's easier for us to see ah forgot to, to remove this Now we can close it and now we can slide out the entire internals of the unit. So the entire casing is out and now we can see everything. So as I said here we have the uh, casing for the main board. The electronic main board here is a intake for the water tank and here it's the pump and you can see the water goes inside of this this uh, water uh, filter or uh, spindle however you want to call it and then goes to the pump and then from this um, u-shape thing goes to the heater element so inside of this here we have some uh, 
some gaskets, some o-rings that gets bad. If you have water here, if it's um, wet over here, let's see if you can see it. So this is the U shape. And inside of this, you have two gaskets. If it's wet here, then you can uh, change this and you will not have leakage. As I said, I will cover only the uh, cold water leakage first. So you will have to remove the retainer from here. After you remove the retainer, then the pump should get out easy and then you should have access to the o-ring. So, as you can see, a little small o-ring. Let's also measure it, so you will know what o-ring you will need up front. Okay, good. So, the external di the di diameter It's 28 2.8 millimeters. Oh, sorry, this is an inch. 0 0.28 inch or 7.3 millimeters. The internal is 3.5 millimeters or 0 0.14 inch. Good. So we have this one. Let's go further. And exactly the same for the for the second one that goes directly to the pump. Okay, now let's go to the heater element. From this point on, you will have only hot water leakage. I think it's it's better if I remove completely. Sorry about that. Let's completely remove this. And here we have the most common uh, problem uh, for leakage. Um, if you have water leaking inside the chamber here, so inside the, the capsule chamber, then could be from this uh, o-ring. So how to resolve this is here we have two tabs, one up here one down here. Gently pry these tabs. Be careful with these tabs because due to uh, hot and cold uh, cycles they are really brittle. So, And you can remove this. And here we have 
an o-ring which has already fallen off <coughs> so this is where the o-ring should sit Let's also measure it. So the o ring should be thirty eight millimeters wide, something like that. Three millimeter thick. <coughs> so yeah, this is how it looks like. Good. Let's go further. Also, inside the brewing chamber, you have this diffuser plate. How to remove this? It's simple. With a flathead screwdriver, insert it in the, here, in this area, and just pry it up and then you can remove it I have covered this also in another video you have to uh, unclog all these holes because coffee is getting stuck here and there are microscopic holes that get clogged with coffee uh, clean this and then you will be fine also here and inside of here, you have uh, old coffee that needs to be uh, cleaned. For this, you have to remove this nozzle cover. And then remove here the nozzle and clean all the old coffee that had remained under here. Okay. And then in the end there is still one last one last o-ring which in my opinion is the hardest one to change this is the one inside the brewing mechanism actually this depends on uh, on uh, uh, inside the heater element, sorry. This depends actually on your unit if you have access to it. Well, in case you see this, for example, oops, water is coming out from here. If you have a lot of lime scale on the heater element, then it's clear you have a, a destroyed o-ring inside, like this one. 
So in order to access it, you have to remove these two nuts here, like outside, take them outside, and then you can remove this plastic part and you will have access to, to, to it. This is easier said than done. But yeah, there is still another uh, O-ring inside, a small one. So yeah, basically when uh, you reach the conclusion that uh, this O-ring here inside that the uh, the heater element is the the problem for you. Then it's basically game over. But uh, it can be changed, no problem. But uh, this uh, O-ring inside it's not meant to to be changed. So yeah. But uh, based on my experience, this is not uh, something that happens to a lot of machines. The most, uh, the most uh, leakage that I saw is due to clogged uh, nozzles, uh, clogged diffuser plate, or uh, uh, this o-ring getting bad from uh, from the cup. Uh, uh, I don't know how to call this. Uh, the not cup holder cup puncher let's call it like that so yeah these are the hot the hot leaking problems and this and uh, this u shape it's the uh cold leaking problems okay so hopefully this helped you a little bit to to decide if you want to repair your machine or not uh, I will go ahead and uh, reassemble everything on fast forward. If you want to stay for the for this, uh, please enjoy. If not, please consider giving this video a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, please uh, comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much. See you in the next in the next video. Bye bye.